I dug this lot maybe eight or nine years ago and as you can see I found so many privies it's ridiculous and there's still a couple more I just found today one of them is just so full of water that I just can't dig it it would be impossible but this corner house right there I just poked out a sinkhole and I thought no that can't be one it's it's only 41 feet in from the sidewalk line and the back of the house goes 42 feet in from the sidewalk line so even if it was touching the house <laughs> I don't know maybe my measurements off by one foot but it definitely had to be an outhouse that's connected to the house itself so that's North Carolina for you let's go dig it and see what's in there hopefully it'll be some 1912 and 13 Pepsis okay we're down in it a foot and I'm finding a lot of roofing material and fairly modern looking pieces of wood that's definitely a bad sign but I'm not quite ready to give up on it okay as you can see we are down there three feet now and I'm just starting to find the first bottle so it looks like a soda too let me get on my belly because I cannot reach down there Look at the pretty new single prong scratcher I just made, since I lose these about every third or fourth time out. Got it at the $1.25 cent store. There's another bottle right next to it. I'm thinking it's loaded way down there, but is it going to be old enough? Oh my, no way. <laughs> No, 1960s knee high. What? Mm. Thought it looked like a knee high. I thought we were going to be unlucky to find an embossed knee high, but it's actually much worse. These were still used in the early 70s, and yeah, the paint's coming off. But of course, I wouldn't care because I'm not digging this anymore. That was a lot of work. For nothing so hopefully we're gonna find a really good privy next okay I'm on the next lot over I've already dug probably three or four privies on this lot never did I find any 1913 stuff though the oldest thing I found was maybe 1919 in a loaded hole I wish I could have filmed it for you guys but it was getting dark and this was like six or seven years ago well, even an expert can make a mistake. I dug way over here when the hole's really over here. I almost was going to give up for both those reasons. I just finally hit some glass way down at the three and a half foot level. Boop came out this cork top perfume, but it's really not that old looking. Could even be from the 30s. Yeah, I think it's actually a 30s hole. But we've come so far, we might as well dig the last little bit of it. Okay, this is an amazingly sparse hole. It is a blank. And it is machine made. I'm thinking around 1927. Well, I'm definitely paying my dues today. If I was doing a normal job and worked this hard for this long, I'd be making at least $100 by now. Just dug five feet deep for a $2 bottle. And that's if I'm lucky to get that much for it. Not to mention the previous hole that produced nothing as well. So, we definitely need to find about $500 worth of bottles in the next hole. Okay, enough privy digging for a while. I'm going to take it easy and do a dry creek walk. I'm already finding one of these big hobble skirts. How often do you find a 26 ounce? Or is it a 28 ounce? Broken anyway, but I actually remember they still used these in the early 80s. I actually drank out of a few of them. And we've got a marble right here. Nope. I guess it's really a hair tie of some sort. I'm wondering if this isn't an early soda works from 1910 or something like that. 
Certainly looks like it could be. Well, maybe if it is, there'll be some sodas under the floor. I think we're a little late for that, though. I think uh, somebody picked them up 30 years ago. And it looks like it had a very high floor. As you can see, there's about three feet up to the door. Yeah, I wish I could have been here the day they tore the floor out of this place. There definitely would have been something in here. Or it certainly seems like a prime candidate anyway. Hmm. Yeah, if only I knew what this was. I know it was a furniture place at one time, but this is obviously more than a hundred years old. And we got poison oak vines hanging down the walls. Then right next door we have this. And if nobody's ever looked under this floor, there could be something really good. Hmm, pretty trashy looking, but I can't really see anything old. And here we have the back of the building. It's looking pretty junked out. Hard to probe. Yeah, I guess I have to know then. Even after all that rain, it seems like it would be pretty tough. But what's that? Is that a sunken well? Or cistern? Okay, trying this old spot that has so many vacant lots. That's definitely a privy right there. Can you see how it's sunk down so badly? It is definitely sunken down super obviously. I'm just wondering if I've already dug this one and filled it in so good that I can't tell. And that is a really shallow depression right there, but that is an undug privy. I just hope I'll be able to find my way back to it since we're out in the middle of the woods. I'll make it easier. So, yeah, I definitely felt some glass in there and not a whole lot. So hopefully that means it's from the 20s or the teens. Okay, here's one I had from years ago. I just didn't dig it yet. Is that a bottle? I think so. So I've actually located three privies. This one here, that was the first one I showed you, and then this one over here. Definitely none of these have been dug. Saving this for the last because obviously with these tree trunks right there, it's going to be full of roots. And I forgot to bring my saw. So let's get this one opened up. Okay, I feel several large bottles somewhere close to here. Oh no, that's about as new as you could possibly expect to ever see. That's got to be like 1958. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> Might as well look at this last one before we abandon this place. Oh my god, it's even got a plastic cap on it. Yep, this is one of the newest previews I ever dug and I'm not going to continue with this one. Okay, 300 feet from that last location because I gave up on that because it was too modern and the other two had roots in it. But I just found this broken off, but at least it's embossed. So it's probably from the 30s. Let's see what town it's from. Columbus, of course. What else could it be? It's got a root on it though, doesn't it? Wait. Is that a... what kind of date code is that? It looks like a 28. It looks like a 280. Mm. 
Oh well, it's better than the last hole by a lot. Just as I thought, I hit water at two feet. But I do see what looks to be an Art Deco soda sticking out right here. Keys intact. Hmm, what is that? I don't recognize it. A Minji's? <laughs> well, that's um, an interesting variation. I've never seen one like it. At least I've never found one like it. And I've probably only ever seen one at a bottle show, maybe. This is really far from where the Minji's company is supposed to be at. I think they took up half the state. They're usually from Greenville. North Carolina, which is 200 miles from here. Okay, I also found this food product jar. Looks like mid-30s. Then I found a broken caravan. Those are fairly common. And of course, a slick drugstore bottle. And right now, I got a broken hobble skirt showing up. It's probably going to be an early Christmas Coke. Could be a 15er. Salisbury, of course. And it is a Christmas Coke with an odd color, so that means it is an earlier variation from around 1929 or 1930. Okay, we got something showing up. I think it's the milk of magnesia. Isn't it? No, it's a little too wide for that. Some type of a whiskey with an interesting design on it. The dumps I've been digging from the late 30s are not producing this particular brand, so I think I'll bring that one home with me. Worms. Got a nice fat night crawler here. Getting sunburnt. We don't dig those big ones too often, but we got a uh, another knee high showing up here. It's intact, as if that made any difference, because it's worthless. No, it might be worth a couple dollars. It has Columbus and the whole word Georgia written out, so... Mm, is that a fracture? Dang it. Oh well, I'll just have to saw it off and make a drinking glass out of it. Mm -hmm, my brand new boots were getting ruined, so I had to go switch them out to this already ruined pair of boots and they're getting all soaked and I've been bucketing the water out with a cup there's a log jam of bottles down there another five inches but just keeps filling in with water but I'm not gonna give up quite yet I'm not gonna give up at all there's probably hundreds of dollars worth of sodas coming out soon no this isn't fun I just do it because I know how yeah, standing in water and getting water soaking into your socks. Yeah, I'm complaining, so subscribe if you need to. Okay, finally, after three feet of no bottles coming out, I am finally getting to the bottle layer. The second bottle layer. Oh my god, that's no older than everything else. Looks even newer, actually. I thought we were going to get down into some 20s at least. That looks like a 1937 bottle. And we're getting the non-soda bottles as well. We've got a medicine with a screw top and no embossing. Okay, got another soda it looks like. Oh no, it's another one of these useless ones. Okay, we got another soda showing up. All right, it's a hobble skirt. I never thought I'd be happy to find a hobble skirt. Hmm, so muddy you can't really see what the date is. It's a Christmas Coke. It's got to be a 1928 though. 
Okay, I just found a soda finally. It's a double strength sugar beverage. The only place I've ever found these before is right here in Spencer. Must have been sold by the Pepsi company. Well, no, I think the Pepsi company actually left out of this area around 1917. This is definitely way after that, about 1933 maybe. And of course, no town name on the bottom. Or is there? It's so muddy I can't tell. Okay, we got another soda showing up. It is a big boy. Mm hmm. Could probably make more money off of this by sawing it off right above this ring and making a glass out of it. Even though it's in perfect shape, it's probably only a five dollar bottle. Okay, we've got another soda showing up. And it is just another knee-high from Columbus. So, a whole bunch of three to six dollar sodas today. Yay! Alright, just pulled out a Coke bottle. It is also a Christmas Coke. And I didn't even look at the bottom of the others. This is a Salisbury, as to be expected. Dang it. Almost broke it because I got stuck in the mud. I just found another double strength sugar beverage. And another knee high. All these 12 bottles are worth a whopping $40 maybe. Yeah, I'm actually going to throw these boots away after this. They're about to fall apart anyway. And with that amount of mud, no, I don't want to clean them. I also found one of these little, I guess it's a syrup or possibly a vinegar. It's got a little pour spout and a handle on it. And we got whatever this is. Some kind of hair product, I would think. But that's it. Well, it was a lot of work. We did find about 12 or 13 sodas though, so. Thought I was choking, huh? Well, there they are, and there they will remain for the next thousand years. Also gonna have to throw my socks away. I almost would throw these pants away, but they are actually very new, so. But this shirt, yeah, I'm gonna throw this away as well. I'm just going to walk on back to the car barefoot and hope I don't stab myself with a sharp branch or something. And here we got a full bucket of possibly 14 or 15 sodas. I did find a number of them without filming them because they were duplicates. 